Marquise Robertson watches almost every video that we publish here at Chat Sports. Chase Sr., are you yelling at me? Do you see the Lakers trading Kyle Kuzma and Marc Gasol and Dennis Schroeder to the Golden State Warriors? I don't see it happening because why would the Golden State Warriors want Kyle Kuzma and Marc Gasol? I think Kuzma's confidence is down. I'd actually like to see him go to a bad team in the NBA to be a good stats, bad team guy. I think that allows him to rebuild his confidence. For any team that wants to trade for Kyle Kuzma, he's on the books for a base salary of around $13 million over the next few seasons. So if he gets to the point where he's averaging 15 to 20 points per game, that's pretty good bang for your buck right there. Also, Dennis Schroeder is going to be a free agent. So that would have to be a sign and trade, nor do I think Golden State is going to be in play for a player like Schroeder. To move on to this question from Jason Kreider, who should target Andre Drummond? I talked about the Celtics maybe targeting Andre Drummond. Maybe the Lakers could bring him back, although he did take to Instagram to say he wasn't really happy with his role with Frank Vogel as coach. Maybe the Golden State Warriors need some Backup options at the center spot. If the Mavericks get rid of a player like Kristaps Porzingis, maybe they decide to bring in Andre Drummond because the pick and roll two man game between Luka and Andre Drummond could be pretty dangerous. Um, other teams across the NBA who are center heavy, you know, maybe a team like the Spurs. Uh, teams with backup center needs. I don't think Andre Drummond is going to get the bag like he did uh, from the Detroit Pistons. He's an okay player for me, not a great player. He's going to be very active on the glass. He's going to give you some defensive prowess, but he can get picked apart defensively if he's going up against an athletic big who can knock down some shots from the outside. Let's move on in this mailbag with this question from Juan's Toy Show. Do you think that LeBron James will retire next year? There's no chance. LeBron James was on the Smart List podcast with Jason Bateman, who Ozark, one of the best shows of all time, no doubt. If you haven't watched it, you should. And he said that he wants to play for four, five, six, maybe even seven more years. LeBron is still at the peak of his powers, even though he's 36 years old right now. I don't think he's going to retire, nor do I think he wants to retire. He has made so much money where he could walk away from the game right now and just be like, yo, I'm good. But LeBron is also one of the best competitors that we've seen ever in the history of the league. And he wants another championship to add to his resume, uh, to give him what? Uh, four rings, which would really put him in elite category. So I don't think LeBron is going to retire, nor do I think he should, because he's still playing excellent basketball. I did see another super chat come in, so we will get to that here in just a bit. Another super chat coming in from Colin Reed. We will get to that right now. How about this question from Rick Boss? Not quite Rick Ross, but Ricky Rose. He's got some bars. What are the odds that LeBron, AD, and Ben Simmons all play for the Lakers since they're a part of Clutch Sports? If we've learned anything over the last couple of years, it is this. Rich Paul of Clutch Sports, who represents LeBron, AD, Ben Simmons, and a whole host of other elite players across the league, can make any trade happen across the NBA. And for all of the salary cap nerds out there who say, Lakers can't make it work, this team can't make it work, we're living in the player empowerment era right now, okay? So trades can really happen at any point. Of course, the Lakers would have to do a lot of salary cap maneuvering. Do I think Simmons is going to go to the Lakers this offseason? No. At some point in his career, maybe. But by the time he goes to L.A., is LeBron going to be retired? Where is A.D. going to be? I can tell you this, Rich Paul is going to try to get his client, Ben Simmons, to the Lakers probably. But who the hell would the Lakers give up for Ben Simmons? And who would the Sixers want in exchange for him? Kyle Kuzma, KCP, Taylor Horton Tucker, no, 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 no. Seven days a week, hopefully I said it seven times, you get my point, not making that deal. Where do you think Ben Simmons will go, and will he get traded? Predict it for us. Type Y for yes, he will get traded. Type N for no, he won't. Start flooding the chat and get those comments in. Move ahead in this mailbag as we're humming along with this question from Senior H., where does Lowry have the best chance for another ring? Lakers? Clippers? I actually like the Clippers for this reason. Kawhi, let's say best case scenario, doesn't come back until April of next year. And he comes back in time for a playoff run. Which player kind of allows you to survive all of next year without Kawhi? You team up Lowry 
and Paul George, maybe you have to trade away Patrick Beverly as well as Luke Kennard to free up some salary space. I like Lowry's fit there. I like him on Philly. Love him on the New York Knicks. Like him on the Dallas Mavericks as well. Uh, maybe even the Miami Heat, if the Heat decide to get rid of Goran Dragic, there are a bunch of teams that are going to be interested and invested in Kyle Lowry. Yo, Hoopers, I'm a Hooper. I got that nice tray ball. You want to play pickup? Come to Dallas and let's see what's up. You want to slide in my DMs and talk basketball? We can do that as well. Give me a follow on Twitter, at Chase underscore Senior. It's also the same handle on my Instagram account. Uh, I'm trying to get to 4,000 followers at some point. Somehow Twitter gave me the blue check mark. I don't know why they gave it to me. You know, who knows, but I'll take it. Give me a follow right now at Chase underscore Senior. Slide in my DMs if I don't answer your question on today's mailbag, and we can chop it up and talk some ball. AYM underscore Smoxe. Who are the new favorites to win it all next season, especially with the Lakers, Clippers, Warriors, and Nets getting to full strength? What a phenomenal landscape it's going to be in the NBA. In the Eastern Conference, Bucks aren't going anywhere. Hawks are on the rise. Nets probably should win the championship next year if they're all healthy. Sixers are in that conversation as well. If the Knicks get a point guard, they could be dramatically improved. What are the Wizards going to do around Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook? Do they bring in another star player on the Western side of things? Lakers get healthy, and if they were healthy, I think they beat the Suns in the first round. They might be in the NBA Finals right now going for back-to-back -back rings. Uh, Clippers, yes, Kawhi is going to be out until maybe the playoffs next year, but they're still going to be really good. Warriors going to take a step up. Uh, Nuggets with Jamal Murray coming back. Portland, if they still have Dame. Phoenix Suns, they're not going anywhere either. I mean, I just listed a bevy of teams who are real championship contenders. That's not a hyperbolic thing to say. Great position for the NBA to be in that they have all of these teams that figure to be around for a long time. Mavericks also in that conversation. The list goes on and on. Juan's Toy Show with another question. What do you react on NBA 2K22? It will be released in September 2021. Uh, are you asking me about the cover? I'm not sure if you're asking me about the cover. Um, Perry, did the cover come out for NBA 2K 2022? Who's on the cover? Okay, and you're on air right now, right? Okay, get on air so that you can talk to the people. Okay. We got uh, Kevin Durant, Dirk Nowitzki, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the legend version. Okay. And then on the WNBA version, we got Candace Parker. Nice. So those are the cover athletes. Sweet. So are they doing like multiple covers then? Yep. Okay, got the gotcha. regular, which is Luka. All right. And then you got the legend, which is KD Kareem and Dirk, and then the WNBA version, Candace Parker. Word up. You're a big gamer, right? You like to hit the sticks? I'm on every night. You're on every night? You <laughs> want to plug your uh, like live handle or whatever? Hey, at prandall3. Go look me up, man. There you go. <laughs> Ball up in NBA 2K against producer Perry. Appreciate him coming through the clutch with that answer right there. So Juan's Toy Show, those are the people on those variety of covers on NBA 2K 2022. I'm not the biggest gamer in the world. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather talk about basketball than play it in a video game. But for the gamers out there, shout out to you. Speaking of shout outs, shout out your favorite team in the comment section right now. Let's see what you guys come up with. Shout out your favorite squad. Also, I see that super chat uh, that we got. Oh, no, that was an old super chat. Never mind. All good. Shout out your favorite team in the comment section right now. Who is your favorite team? Shanav Nuggets. The Atlanta Analyst, the Hawks, Blinky, Raptors, Shanav Nuggets, Bryant, Coart, Bulls. The Atlanta Analyst, of course, going with the Hawks. I'm seeing Bulls. I'm seeing Celtics. I'm seeing Lakers from Juan's Toy Show. 2K Nola, we see your question. Stay tuned with that super chat. We will get to that in our second mailbag unless we want to pull it up now. Uh, Shanav going with the Nuggets. I'm seeing Raptors, Hawks, Warriors, Pistons, MFFL for the Mavs fans for life. LA Lakers, Bucks, Hawks, Bulls, Mavericks, and Warriors for Matt Solomon. He seems a little conflicted, but hey, if you got three different favorite teams, I hear you. Appreciate all of you for chiming in with your favorite squads. Make sure you subscribe to us here at Chat Sports. We're an interactive YouTube channel. We hit you with the latest NBA news and rumors. And our NBA coverage is really only getting started because the NBA draft is in two Thursdays. We will be live for it. 
Then NBA Free Agency starts on August 2nd, and we're going to be doing a bunch of live shows. Anytime any breaking news happens during Free Agency, we'll be live for that. As I talk about, we'll be live breaking down all of these draft prospects during the NBA draft, and we're trying to get to 250,000 subscribers. Hit that red subscribe button down below or go to youtube.com slash chatsportstv.